A lot of people were saying like, oh, you shouldn't keep your bunny and your dog together. But Nato and Momo love each other immensely. I feel like sometimes Nato thinks she's a bunny. Nato. Momo doesn't really care. She'll like share her letters with her. At night, Momo is so comfortable with Nato that she'll flop on her side right next to her and they'll sleep together. I can't imagine. I was nervous about when she first met Momo. It all started when I adopted Momo. Momo was my first pet that I've ever had by myself. I brought her home to my parents' house and then we moved together into my new home. I never thought that you could build such a relationship with a bunny, but here we are. She's confident just being with herself. She loves just sleeping and eating, but she still has that sassy bunny personality. And then when my boyfriend moved in with me, we wanted to adopt a dog. But it wasn't until I saw Nato that I like fell in love and knew that I had to take action. She had to fly from South Korea to the United States. And then my boyfriend and I drove to JFK airport and picked her up there. We were so nervous and excited. And then we brought her to our house and took her out of the crate and she was so happy. <laughs> Nato was really excited when she first met Momo. And she realized like, Oh, this is like a smaller creature than me, but I can't chase her. But I was a little bit nervous about the two of them kind of being in the same space. We separated them and kind of took it really slowly. Over the next few months, we would slowly do those little introductions. It actually took a few months for them and us to feel fully confident in keeping them together. And now she enjoys Momo's company, so that's all that matters. I feel like fate brought them together. I think they really just look out for each other. They changed my life. <laughs>